from Grand Prix UK BFF competition which is on the 2nd of July. Thought I'd do a little vlog to update you guys of how my diet's going, how I've been feeling, what I've been doing, what I've been eating, I'm joking. Um, this week has been quite hard for me, this week. My prep has been seriously hard this week. Um, I don't know if my metabolism, because my metabolism is skyrocketing and I'm getting hungry every bloody two hours but I'm always hungry. Um, Today I kind of had a quest bar because I was I literally was in tune in and looking for some stuff for some um, stuff for like jewelry and stuff to for the competition and my belly just started growling and it was too like an empty pain where normally I get this empty feeling here like and I felt like I was gonna faint I had to get something I thought right do I have nuts what do I have nuts quest bar eggs but they were obviously I was on road so I could only have a quest bar which was only six grams carbs one gram saturated fat and no not even one gram saturated fat a gram one gram of sugar and gluten free which is good so I realized when I have gluten free stuff my belly doesn't really blow out so that was all right um I now have introduced 30 minutes again in the evening to my weight training which is really it's starting to I don't like it, I'll be honest with you guys. Because I do half an hour high intensity with 20 minutes high intensity walk, yeah? So that in total that's 50 minutes plus weight and um, plus glutes in the morning. And then I come back and I do another weight session and then I'm gonna do half to do half an hour while I'm starting to do half an hour cardio with it every yeah, after every weight session. So it's actually starting to kill me, to be honest. But I have to go through the motions, I have to it's also, also if, when I well, obviously when you lose weight, it's all about in calories in, calories out. Yeah, calories in, calories out. So as long as I have calories out exceeds the calories in, calories out. No, calories in exceed. No, calories out exceed the calories in. I will lose body fat. But the only problem is that with my little bloody picking that I'm doing the last two days. I'm getting a bit worried, but it's not big picking, it's like one rice cake or two rice cakes, but obviously my brain starts to think, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm getting flabby, oh my gosh, it's not even that. Um, what else have I done? Uh, samples are going, still going great, I'm starting to create a new t-shirt now, like a backless hoodie t-shirt, um, another one, so that's going, I'm starting that this week. Um, what else? Oh yeah, went to get, hold that thought. Let me come back, I've got to show you something. Sorry, I had to come back. So yeah, um, I went to Toot In today to get a few bits. Basically, what annoyed me is that I lost my makeup. I don't know where it's gone, my makeup's all gone. So I have to go and get some new makeup. So I thought I'll go to Toot In and go and get that. That's in South London, guys, if you don't know where that is. And basically I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna spend loads of money on jewelry from this competition because I've spent too much money already. Um, so I went to Primarni, that's what I call it, Primark, Primarni, and I got this, so this was £4, little cheap thing, um, they call it, I don't even know what they call it, but it's nice anyway, and I also, oh the earrings came out, I also got some earrings, dangly earrings to go with it, that cost what, another £4, yeah? And also I got um, another like bling bling thing, three pounds. So that's what I'll be wearing on the competition day. And also I got myself some cheeky eyelashes from Superdrug. They include glue. So I'll be wearing these as well. So what in total, four, three, which is seven, four, which is 11 pounds I spent, which is this two pound. 13 pounds, there you go, bitch back, done. 13 pounds, can't ask for more, sorted. Yeah, so I've got all these things for my comp, which is good. Um, 
you know what? Funny enough, I think I was with Daniel. What day was he? I think it was Tuesday when we went to the gym. And you know what, that's the first time I woke up, right, and I started getting nervous. I was like, you know what, Daniel? I'm actually nearly two and a half weeks away. This is not a joke no more. It's actually becoming reality. And it's actually scaring me now. And I'm actually getting scared. And I don't want to do it. And he was like, what do you mean? I was like, I just don't want to do it. I just, fright. It's like, even thinking about it now, it's making my, my armpits get a bit hot. It just, yeah. The fact that I'm going to be on stage, there'll be loads of people, the expo, people might be like, shut up, get on stage, you're rubbish. Or someone might go, boo, look at her, look at her abs, they're crap. That's what I'm scared of. And I really don't want that to happen to me. So positive thinking, it's going to go all right. I'm not going to trip. I'm, I know, and I don't wear heels. I'm a gym person. I'm in either only lifting shoes or, or just gym shoes, isn't it? gym trainers. I don't do heels, yeah? So, I can do heels when I go up, but I don't do heels like to pose. So, I need to start learning to do that as well. But let's go to this, um, this, what is this again? Measuring. Let's go back up to this update now. So, um, yeah, let's see how much interest I've lost or haven't lost, or yeah. Um, also, I want to talk to you before I do this measuring about my, Right, so last week I had a refeed, yeah? Tell me why my belly was like bloated. It was bloated, like the next day. I don't know what, I had oats pancakes, but I think someone put milk in it instead of molding milk. So my belly was bloated. And I just realized how intolerant, like intoler intolerant my belly, my stomach has become to like think other things, like other foods. So I know that when I come off this diet, I need to be very careful of what I eat because if, I, if I'm not, my belly's just probably gonna be bloated, it's gonna be uncomfortable. Anyway, let's go back to this update. Biceps, biceps was 12 inches, yeah? Well, if it, look guys, I'm doing it quicker. Oh, okay, maybe not. Yeah, no, do it again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. So, 12, yeah? Okay, if it turns around, then I can measure it. Oh, it's gone down to 11. Dab. No, I'm not even gonna dab. Yay! 11. Um, hips, no, chest was 31. This chest was 31. So let's check this one. And see what has happened. Still 31, so that hasn't gone down. No, that hasn't gone down. Um, quad 19. Oh yeah, 18, it's gone down an inch. Ah! Yeah! <gasps> that's me, that's my angry, that's my, my that's my muscle scream. Ah! I'm glad, yay! I was gonna say Pulse Smash, but. I'm getting a bit too excited for my comic inspired stuff. So yeah, but an inch has come off my quad. My calf was 13. Oh, that's the wrong way. 13. Let's see. So it's 13 and a half now. So I don't know. Probably grown a bit. Um, waist was 25.5. Sorry, my bed is a bit bloated today. So, what is it? 25.5. 25.5. It's gone to 25 now. Okay, this is me trying to dance. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> I'm glad that's gone down. Um, the only thing I complain about, as before, yeah, is this bit needing to go in. So when I side pose, it's going in. I don't know if you guys can actually see it. But um, yeah, when you side pose, it's like you bring the it's like you bring this arm all the way back so they can see the obliques. And you put this arm forward so it's but then the funny thing is in America, right, they do this. 
In England, this is what we get told to do. Yeah? Now, I prefer, because it's like quite elegant, isn't it? It's just, yes. In England, we're like, yeah! I don't like that, it annoys me, but that's the rules in it, I'm, I don't make up the rules. Um, so, my waist has gone down, which is good. My hips, let's try my hips. Let's guess, hopefully it's gone down. Is it? 35.5. Oh, it's gone to 34.5. Oh, a whole inch. Happy dance. Um, so yeah, guys, everything's gone down except for my butt. Except for my chest. Which I don't have a problem with my chest because I don't have any. I don't have any, he's all gone. So I don't mind about that. Um, yeah, I, th I think I'm getting more lean. I think. Um, I'm starting to get more veiny, which is good, which is an indication of lean illness. Look, there's not really a lot of fat underneath there, to be honest. But, yeah. It's just here. Um, se separation is happening, starting to happen. Let's see what another two and a half weeks brings. Um, yeah. So I'm overall, overall, I'm happy with it. I'm happy. Uh, my coach is in America right now competing at the Dallas Pro Show. So good luck, Rosie, for that. I hope you're gonna smash. Well, you are gonna smash it. But I just hope you do well, and I hope you're, that you just represent England because I don't think a lot of English bodybuilders uh, are representing nowadays. Well, they are represented, but they're not winning. So it'd be nice if we can get an uh, English, um, English person to do it, a British person to win. At least come, what, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, top 10 would do. Um, but Rosie's very dedicated. She knows what she's doing. She's got a fantastic coach called Patrick Tuar. He's great. Um, it's like, what I love about this bodybuilding world is like you learn from each other. It's not about ego, well it is about egos, but I'm, I ain't got time for that. So it's all about learning and inspiring people and Rosie is such an inspiration. Um, so yeah, um, I am happy with this. I am, next week I'm going to see some more of my samples. Um, I'm going to do a promotional video soon about I Am Her Athletics, what it's about. Um, what, what, why I came up with the idea, that type of thing. But I just wanna say thank you for watching my vlog. Please subscribe, comment or share or like. Um, next update is coming in probably about two or three days because I'm kinda of late this one. I've got two weeks on Saturday. Uh, starting from next Monday, no carbs for a whole week. So I'm gonna be vlogging that daily. So keep up, so I'm gonna do a whole week vlog. Every day I'm going to vlog. So let's see how well that goes. If I snap on my vlog, please ignore me. I have no comments in my system. But yeah, please share comments. Uh, again, please share, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll speak to you a lot later. See you later, guys.